Welcome to Journeys with Jason George, episode 37, Three Bone Terrariums, a learn to build session. So my friend showed up and brought her collection of supplies to make a terrarium. And I had started my collection of terrariums and I didn't know how to display them. So I thought it was best just to hold on to them until I found someone who knew what they were doing. And I definitely think I found the right person. Whoa, those are dandelion wishes and they're inside? This is so cool. And hagstones? Man, there's so many supplies here that we can choose from to make these displays. And a collection of dead bugs. Wow, a cicada, we've got dragonflies butterflies wow this thing's so cool but before we begin we need to clear the negative energy from the air slash the items so we burn some sage well this is what I'm told you're supposed to do and based on what I've seen from her work I'm just gonna let it go and just learn this is amazing I never even would have thought about doing something like this before I started working, but it does make sense. Look at all of these cool supplies though, like little bottles and what is that? Hmm. We've got rocks and all kind of cool little seeds and pine cones and hair, dried flowers, poppy seeds, oh, poppy seeds look really cool. Just when I thought that we were ready to begin, she lit another piece of wood, and this was for another cleanse. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Well, that's what life's all about, learning. So I sit back and I ask questions. I did ask permission for this video. I forget what the wooden stick was and what, the, like one sage, which is for what? Sage is for negative energy and Palo Santo is for negative spirits. Palo Santo. Palo Santo. Palo Santo. It's called Holy Wood. It's from, oh. like, I think, South America. So now we're ready. So we first glue this base so that we can start building and then we start placing stuff and we use a bottle and oh, there's also a wisher. These things are so cool. So but, this is Moogalite Jasper. And we add the stones to the bottle so that it adds this cool effect and we've layered it. And by we, I mean she. And I didn't fully get it while it was being done, but the after product looks so cool. And then we picked a dragonfly that had just been found. The last few pieces are getting placed and this thing's starting to look cool. I never even thought about energy and all of that kind of stuff. That's probably why these ones look so good. Well, on to the second one. This one's going to be more colorful, I guess. It's got lots of things. Two butterflies, some large bones, a hagstone, some poppies. Ooh, those little rocks in that jar. Man, this one might be better than the last one. There's a list that I'll provide of what's in it. And then the third one. This is more of an underwater theme. As we have some crayfish and some shells and some driftwood. Man, and even some purple moss. That's an awesome touch. With all three of the terrariums now complete, let's take a look at the finished product and see all three of them. Here they are side by side. 
and we're actually going to take a moment and look at each one individually. So this one is the deer one. Those are all deer bones around it. And then we built around those things. Added that wisher and that spiky thing. A whole bunch of gemstones. But I really do in, like the bottle. It adds a lot of height to it. And it's got more gemstones inside it. This is a pretty cool one. But I think this one might actually be my favorite one. This one has a hagstone, a jar with stones in it, and it's got a whole bunch of moose, bones, three poppies. It seems like three seems to be a really popular number. Do you know why that is? If you do, leave it in the comments. And take a look beside the butterfly as it cut turns around. You'll see a really cool stone in there. But this one, I love the colors that just pop. And then you can't forget about the underwater one. This one is special. And we've got a hidden treasure in that little jar. Man, it's funny because when we were doing this, I had made a comment about the jars. Why did you bring them? Well, I now understand. They just add that little bit of extra touch. And did you three... See the third crayfish there? Hmm. There must definitely be something about threes. And the shells in this one? So cool. And can't forget that purple moss and the purple stone. Well, now that they're all done and we've taken a closer look, let's put them away. And this is where I'm actually going to be storing them. This is a presentation room or natural history museum or my fort as I call it I built this space as a place to store my bones and skulls and some of those creepy things that maybe not everybody wants to see and I'm trying to get these ready as I have a birthday party coming up for this little guy and his buddies well I hope that they'll enjoy these different terrariums along with some of the other cool things I have so this one for the time being is going to go right here and there's some other cool things on this shelf do you want to see here that's what my shelf looks like there's some pretty cool things on every shelf and if you want stop on by and see them because they are honestly much cooler in person here's my rock collection and one thing that most people really enjoy when they come here is I have something that's quite special. Do you know what it is? Yeah, it's this thing. It's a dinosaur footprint. That's pretty cool. And now to put the other two away. The one's a deer, the other one's a moose, and they're both going to go on the same shelf where I try to compare moose and deer to each other just so that people can understand how big a moose is. Because a lot of people have seen a deer, so we kind of understand that. But when you see it next to a moose, it's tiny. It's almost like a child next to a grown adult. You'll understand in a second when I show you a closer zoomed in picture of this shelf. But, yep, got them in. I need to work on maybe getting a little bit more light, but that's a moose hoof and a deer hoof. Do you see the size difference in them? There's the same moose bone. Any guesses what that bone is? Well, here that's the final resting spot for these two. And I love the mirror in the background so that you can see the reflection. This is the one I created, and I didn't use all the techniques, no jars, but this is where it rests, on one of the shelves. This shelf is another shelf in this display case. There's some pretty cool things here. You should probably check it out. But until next time, stay safe, have fun, and enjoy the wildlife. Please check my other social media for more about my book and other exciting opportunities.